still under 2023 elections are ahead of the general elections. Some youths under the aegis of National Youth Inclusive in Governance Organization, NYIJO, have decried decades of political marginalization of young Nigerians. As part of efforts to address the problem, the group held a sensitization campaign during its South South Zono Koko strategic meeting in Port Harcourt, River State Capital. It's for inclusion and equal opportunity through negotiation for a better future in the 2023 general elections. The report. Addressing journalists at the meeting in Port Harcourt, convener of the group, Sheriff Yusuf Banki, explained that the meeting was to strategize for more youth's inclusion in the forthcoming elections. Banki observed that youths had been worst hit since they returned to democracy in 1999 after three decades of military rule. He opined that Nigerian youths can only realize their potential and participate actively in the struggle for social transformation when they are empowered. Young people must be given the opportunity to contribute to the development of their communities through political participation that grants them access to structures of governance where decisions are taken. That access and opportunity to participate must be provided as a matter of right and not a privilege. Banki observed that youths are yet to find a strong foothold in the political system, admitting that the task before them is enormous and challenging. Some of the participants who spoke with newsmen said the older generation had reduced the vibrant, knowledgeable and innovative portion of the country to special advisors at various levels of government or used the youth to foment trouble during elections. The present status quo of entrenched youth marginalization is viewed in some quarter as a, as a factor that foils insurgency, criminality and violence across the length and breadth of our dear country. My fellow young Nigerians, in less than one year, we will be going to poll to elect our new set of leaders across the ladder. It's all about getting themselves involved, and this is the process. So, so they, they, they have to, they must be the participants. We don't, there is no time sitting in, uh, uh, on defense any longer. You heard your other time that we have lazy youth. Why? So when times come for this people to come out, as, as a somebody, as an active politician, they, make, they nickname them lazy youth. A man, a youth that is lazy can fight for you. A youth that are lazy can be able to pick weapons to fight for you. You give them weapons to fight. But when the right time comes for them to stand on their ground, as a society, as a pivot, as even a custodian in the society, you discover that they always push them aside. Ooh, what are the reasons? Because they refuse to know who they are in society. But with this clarion call, we are crying all to the youth that they should wake up to their responsibility. Take your stand and do the needful. We are intending to participate fully this time by mobilizing the youth in our various areas to go out for their PVC. The era of those period where we went, you see youth running up and down. I am a talks, I am this to work for them. We want to kill that era. We have been conversing, calling them to go out for their PVC registration because we know that 2023 is going to be dynamic. The group urged the young people to play active roles in determining the political future of the country by engaging political actors with demands for inclusion and equal access to political participation. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.